Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, YouTube. Uh, the Lord's been giving me a message these uh, past couple days. He's been speaking to me, saying, um, we need more intercessors, more uh, prayer uh, warriors to pray for the body of Christ and also to pray for the lost and the deceived. Uh, too much of the burdens uh, is being laid upon um, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ and it's the the people are uh, all coming to one person and it's overwhelming uh, some brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, the Lord is, is calling laborers and uh, those who can pray and intercede uh, for the brothers and sisters in Christ and for the lost and the Lord has uh, given me scriptures to read out of the Bible okay here's in uh, Exodus chapter 18 okay this is when uh, Jethro visits Moses and I'm gonna start reading it at verse 13 in chapter chapter 18 13 through 27 and it reads the next day Moses took his seat to serve as judge for the people and they stood around him from morning till evening when his father-in-law saw all that Moses was doing for the people he said what is this you are doing for the people why do you alone sit as judge while all these people stand around you from morning till evening Moses answered him, Because the people come to me to seek God's will. Whenever they have a dispute, it is brought to me. And I decide between the parties and inform them of God's decrees and laws. Moses' father-in-law replied, What you are doing is not good. You, you and these people who come to you will only wear yourselves out. The work is too heavy for you. You cannot handle it alone. Listen now to me and I will give you some advice. And may God be with you. You must be the people's representative before God and bring their disputes to him. Teach them and de teach them the decrees and laws. And show them the way to live and the duties they are to perform. But select capable men from all the people men who fear God, trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain, and appoint them as officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. Have them serve as judges for the people at all times, but have them bring every difficult case to you. The simple cases they can decide themselves. That will make your load lighter because they will share it, share it with you. If you do this and God so commands, you will be able to stand the strain and all these people will go home satisfied. Moses listened to his father-in-law and did everything he said. He chose capable men from all Israel and made them leaders of the people, officials over thousands, hundreds, fifties, and tens. They served as judges for the people at all times. The difficult cases they brought to Moses, but the simple ones they decided themselves then Moses sent his father-in-law on his way and Jethro returned to his own country okay and this is just is an outline of uh, you know what what was to come because now as we all know it is the Spirit of God you know that leads us and guides us so now we operate in the Spirit of God Okay, which I'm going to go to, this is the other scriptures that he's uh, given me to read. and It's in the uh, book of Acts, chapter 6, okay, verse 1 through 7. And it reads, In those days when the number of disciples was increasing, the Grecian Jews among them complained against the Hebraic 
Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, It would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the Spirit. Okay, full of the Spirit. That means the Spirit of God. And wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole group. They chose Stephen, uh, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, they're choosing people who are full of the Spirit of God and wisdom. They're not just choosing ordinary people. Okay, these are God fearing people. Okay, reading on. Also, Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Tim Timon, Parmenius, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. Okay? They prayed and laid their hands on them. So, as they, the, they were praying on these men, they were choosing... For God to lead them and direct them and guide them in, in the will of God. Okay. So the word of God spread. Okay. That That's meaning after they prayed for them that the word of God, the, the spirit of God spread the word of God. Okay. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly. And a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Okay, this is what God is speaking uh, to me in these past couple days. That we are to, uh, if you're, if God is calling you through this video to intercede and pray for others, uh, so that the burdens can be lighter on other brothers and sisters in Christ, then by all means obey God, serve the Lord with fear and trembling. Um, there are people coming to Christ, and as people come to Christ, uh, we need more laborers, more, more uh, disciples, you know, more spirit-filled, uh, God-fearing men, men and women. So God laid it upon my heart uh, today to make this message, and I pray that you will go to Jesus and seek Him and ask Him uh, if this call, if this is for you, if this is calling, it's for you. So go to the Lord, go to Him in humbleness, and ask Him. Okay, this is this is the time to shine for the Lord, to give them all, to give everything you've got to to Jesus, and He will use you. Okay, just seek Him, seek Him, you know, because He will do. Jesus said, "We will do greater works in His name," and I really do believe that. So I love you all. I pray you have a blessed. Uh, Friday, blessed Sabbath, um, praying for you all, always all glory to Jesus, so may you have a wonderful evening in the Lord, amen.